funny, all my hangar friends that came by when they saw me start the project, nine out of 10 thought I was crazy. Uh, the same nine out of 10 thought it was the coolest thing in the world when they saw the finished product. Well, it started off as a single engine RV6A with a light combing. Uh, I flew for nine years. I built it as a quick build kit from back in the 1990s. Um, sitting in too many hotel rooms for work, I decided to uh, make it into a twin engine. 97% uh, 97, 97 of my flight time is multi-engine, so I only have 500 hours of single engine time, so I like the redundancy concept of it. Um, I have a motto that says, simplicity plus redundancy equals reliability. So if you have a lot of something and they're simple, uh, it seems to be the reliable way to go. And so far, with 120 hours on it, it's been flawless. Well, it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission, so I told my wife after I tore the plane apart. <laughs> So that helped. It wasn't as simple as it sounds. It took over 100 engineering drawings, consulting with three engineers, and just uh, nine years of full-time work. When I wasn't working for work, I was at that airport building this. Uh, to make every forming block, every bulkhead, every uh, mold, and uh, being a twin, you had to do it twice. So you had to make each part three times when you include the mold. I'm a home builder at heart, and I'm a pilot for work, so when I go around the world, I, I talk to people about my project, and people just are amazed at how I could do this, and with very little oversight, you know. So I think it's one of the freedoms we have in this country, and um, I hope it never goes away. Clear. Well, you know, the, the funny part is it, it came out 95% exactly the way it came when my initial view in my head. Yeah, to tell you the truth, you know, I never, I never really got into it and said to myself, wow, I think I'm in over, two, over my head, you know. I actually, as it went along, it fueled me. Uh, I never really had a, a, a doubt, and it, it performs exactly, it flies exactly the way I thought it would. When you build it and design your own airplane, the buck stops with you. That's the, the empty feeling you have. You have no one you can turn to when you're, the, this final decision has to be made on a part or a way of doing something. So you gotta be a little crazy. Like my wife says, I put the word mental and experimental. <laughs>